Hey guys, it's Rachel. So today I'm so excited because I get to just sit down and chill and drink my Dunkin' Donuts and sound like a frog because allergies are getting to me, but I still wanted to sit down and film a story time for you guys and believe me, this should be tea because this is some tea. Piping hot tea. So I'm going to tell you guys a story about how Calvin Harris blocked me on Twitter. Yeah. Calvin Harris, the DJ, blocked me on Twitter. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, Alright, so I'm going to give you guys a little backstory because um, I feel like that would be helpful. So I am a huge Taylor Swift fan. I don't know if you guys have watched my other videos. If you're watching me for the first time, hi, I'm Rachel. I really love Taylor Swift. And I have since Fearless. So... I was a huge fan of Taylor and Calvin's relationship when they were dating. Disclaimer. Absolutely not now. I'm not like one of those stands or shippers. Toxic. Anywho. So, um, I really loved them together when they were together. And they dated for 15 months and anywho, I even had like a collage of pictures of them on my wall. When I met Taylor, I told her how happy I was for her because she was getting a lot of hate for dating him, so I just wanted to make her aware that I was there for her. Anywho, my point is, huge supporter of their relationship. I wasn't like, oh my god, I can't believe Taylor's dating him. Like, no. If my girl's happy, I'm happy. Point blank period, loves. So, anyways... Cut to them breaking up in 2016. Okay, so what happened was there was speculation that they were breaking up. There were a couple news articles that are really trustworthy, like People Magazine, E! News, Entertainment Tonight. You know usually it's true if they get the headlines. And usually what happens is a rep from either one of, like, that represents them either Taylor or Calvin would get that exclusive to them to kind of weed out to the public. But we never know if anything like that is sure, and I don't like to believe anything in my case until I hear it from Taylor's lips. Or like Tree's lips. Tree is Taylor's publicist. So yeah, if it's trustworthy, if it's like Tree or Taylor, I will of course believe it, but until then, no, I, I don't believe it. I do get suspicions, though, um, because Taylor did not fly back to L.A. when Calvin Harris got in a car accident, and I was like, hmm, that's not like her. Like, we know she'd be there in a drop of a hat, and she would do that for anyone she cared about. So that's when I was kind of like, hmm, but I'm not, of course, going to say anything because the media is atrocious and needs help, <laughs> so, and they like to draw to conclusions super quick, so, of course, no. This girly was not adding to that. So they broke up and Calvin tweeted, I remember it so clearly, he finally confirmed it. He said, the truth is that a relationship came to an end, but what remains is a huge amount of love and respect. And I remember I had a chorus concert that night and I was so upset. Like I was sitting, I remember crying over this. I was crying like it was my own breakup just because I felt so bad for Taylor. And, yeah, just want to throw that out there. I'm getting to, I'm just building up. It makes sense in the end, I promise. So, that was, like, the early part of June. And I was like, they broke up, and I was devastated. Cut to a couple weeks later, and everything had, you know, died down. And it was, let's get the date, folks. It was... June 15th, and, oh my god, Bobby looks so good in this picture, hello, okay, and he tweeted, shit's about to go down, and he had alluded to it being about Taylor because he was being petty and, like, favoriting tweets about, it just, it just made sense that he was talking about Taylor, and so I tweeted him, and I said, if there's still a lot of like love and respect why are you being petty he blocked me he blocked me over that tweet and I 
I was honestly just asking a question. I know other fans who said a lot worse to him and got blocked, but I honestly, I just didn't understand. Like, I didn't understand how something could switch so fast. Turns out, this was the same day that Taylor and Tom's relationship went public. And, you know what? I don't care. Her and Calvin were over. Over, point blank, period, done. So, for him to say that was incredibly petty. Like, you didn't have to fuel the fire, dude. Taylor can do what she wants. She's not dating you anymore. Just please keep your mouth shut. If you still had a lot of love and respect, you would just keep it to yourself and not throw it out there so you can get some likes on Twitter. My point of tweeting that was, what, just to understand, like, please respond. Please let me know, like, what is going on. He was blocking literally everyone who had one hint of Taylor in their life. I'm not kidding, like, so many people who just had, didn't even tweet him before, were getting blocked. Just, I, I don't know, he's, he, petty. Okay, so that happened, and I remember I was in my floor with my friend Kendra, and I was like, oh my god, he just blocked me, I was screaming, I was like yelling, and at this point, there was drama. And so, Twitter was up in flames, the internet was up in flames, and... I was like, you know what, we're over this, like, Calvin Harris, like, uh, no. And so I took a picture and I went, insert picture, literally, here, and <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, I'm blocked. It's a good thing he blocked me then, because then a month later, he went completely off when it broke that Taylor helped write this is what you came for, and had background vocals in it, and, um, he went absolutely off, so it was good I got blocked for the simpler thing. Oh, and I wanted to add also, he blocked me on my personal account, and I had never said anything bad to this man on my personal account, and I actually wanted to keep that okay on the personal account, so it wouldn't, like, I could see in the future if he said anything. And so the day he went absolutely ballistic on Twitter, I had to get it from my friends, like the select two friends that I had that were not blocked on Twitter by him. So yeah, <sighs> he was just like, um, if, you know what, I'm going to pull it up. He said, I figure if you're happy in your new relationship, you should focus on that instead of trying to tear your ex-boyfriend down for something to do. Hurtful to me at this point that her and her team would go so far out of their way and make me look bad at this stage, though. I wrote the music, produced the song, and arranged it and cut the vocals out. It was initially she wanted to keep it a secret, hence the pseudonym. <sighs> this is just getting me worked up again. I know you're off to her and you need someone new to try and bury like Katie, etc. But I'm not that guy. Sorry. I won't allow it. Sir, 2016 just was not Taylor's year. And all that Kim Kardashian drama had been meshed into this ugly, ugly summer. Cruel summer says hello, like Alexa play, cruel summer. It just now it being 2019... And knowing everything that, like, fit into that summer for her just makes me want to absolutely rip my hair out. Like, poor Taylor. And I do not regret one minute for ever standing up for her online. Like, I literally leave her be. Okay, now I'm going to go on my Taylor Swift rant. <laughs> You're welcome. But anyways, yeah, that's how Calvin Harris blocked me on Twitter. And I feel like it was really uncalled for and petty, and you know what? He did that just so I'd sit here and have a funny story to tell you guys. An interesting story because I know if I see anything like this on my recommended, I click on it so fast um, because I just want the tea. So yeah, that's what happened, and uh, <sighs> Calvin Harris is disgusting. And then I saw Taylor in October of 2016, at the Formula One car race, and I remember my friends and I took a picture, insert picture here, of um, us all going like this because we were blocked by Calvin. I literally remember 
my friends and I saying, if anybody is blocked by Calvin Harris, like, come over here and take a picture. And we took, we took, like, a group picture. Man, that was funny. Anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope I really entertained you in some way, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give this video a like if you want to see more story times. I really love the chill aspect of it, and just getting to talk to you guys and giving you a glimpse into my crazy life. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for tuning in. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I will be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. And so yeah, I want to get there so I can just shower you guys with even more love. <laughs> um, I love you guys so much. I hope to see you, yes you, in my next one. Bye guys.